Working class neighborhoods appear to be some of the hardest hit areas by the coronavirus. You can actually see in this chart that was given to us by the Boston Department of Public Health that East Boston, Dorchester, Mattapan, and Hyde Park are lit up in a sort of deep purple. Those are the areas that right now have the largest numbers. New numbers reveal that outside of Boston, Chelsea is emerging as a hotspot. WBZ's Anaritas Rodriguez has more. Tonight, the city of Chelsea in the grip of the coronavirus. The impacts that we're seeing in communities like Chelsea that have been absolutely devastated with a rate of infection potentially 10 times that of other parts of Boston. Leading Congressman Joe Kennedy to ask the state's Department of Public Health to track information by race and release it. If we are not collecting and analyzing and distributing this data, we're not going to be able to, to craft an adequate an immediate response. And we're certainly not going to learn the lessons that we need to learn to make sure this doesn't happen again. Health and Human Services Secretary Mary Lou Sutters says starting today, that information will be published, adding that most of the data comes from private labs and hospitals and is often incomplete. And the Department of Public Health is working with these organizations to improve the data reporting by race and ethnicity so that we all can better understand where and on whom the burden of disease is falling. City officials in Boston also facing the same challenge, but telling WBZ they are working to get more details. The latest Boston public health map breaks down the number of cases in the hardest hit neighborhoods, densely populated working class communities with large groups of minority residents who often can't afford to stay home. I think it really heralds back to sort of things like institutional racism. Mass General Dr. Allison Bryant says pre-existing conditions are also contributing factors. Things like asthma and diabetes and hypertension, obesity, and I think that those contribute as maybe proximate causes to why people are doing so poorly in the setting of the COVID epidemic. An epidemic that is nearing its peak in the fight for health care equality. I'm Anna Rodriguez, WBZ News.